Yep. Welcome to the Bible Geek Squad. What's going on, fam? I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful week, day, weekend, or whatever the plans are, guys. I hope that you guys enjoy it. Today is Saturday. Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful Lord's Day tomorrow, Sunday at church. Praise God. Go praise, worship with the family, all that good stuff. But right now, ladies and gentlemen, as I'm doing, uh, I'm going to be doing this uh, review real quick. Uh, I, I always say quick, and they're never quick. Uh, so yeah, I'm sorry about that. It's kind of like when I'm preaching, I, I tell the church, all right, I'm almost done. And that goes on for like another 20 minutes, 30 minutes and stuff like that. So anyways, uh, guys, many of you guys know that I've been uh, really enjoying, I'm sorry for saying guys and guys and guys. Uh, anyways, uh, y'all know that I've been really enjoying the NIV lately. Uh, my main translation, you already know, is the NLT, but I've been really enjoying the NIV uh, of my good friend and best friend and brother in Christ and his wife gave me this beautiful, gorgeous looking Bible. It's an NIV side column reference Bible. It's brown goatskin leather. It's a beautiful thing, man. Uh, I, I love this. Look at that. I've just been enamored by this, man. It's beautiful. I want to show you guys a comparison of a 1978 Tom Thompson uh, chain reference Bible. And they're updated in True Tone, not the hardcover, but in True Tone. And just let blah, blah, and just let me let you know that uh, they don't only have it in hardcover or True Tone. They all, they actually also, if you didn't know, if you did not, what is wrong with my speech today? So they, they don't only have it in True Tone or hardcover, but they also have it in goat skin. In case you guys didn't know that, and the Thompson Chain Reference Bible is one of your go tos. They have it in that luxurious uh, black goatskin leather with blue under gold or blue under silver. That thing is stunning. I need to get my hands on that because uh, that thing is a beauty from what I've been able to see. But enough me chatting. Let's get into the video. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So here you have both of the NIVs. Now, this is the 1978 edition. This is uh, the one that just came out uh, this year. Uh, both of these are very nice. I'm a big fan of the updated and revised edition. I'm going to show you real quick. Uh, look at the beginning. Just, just the... Just the very first page, you're going to see some of the differences that we have here uh, right away in this Bible. The The 78 edition was not smite sewn. It is glued. Uh, unfortunately, it is glued. The paper is very nice. Uh, it is not line match, okay? This is not line match. Uh, you can tell. The paper is rather nice, and it's pretty good. It's actually pretty good, but you can tell that uh, there is going to be... Uh, there is some ghosting, and it definitely is not line match, but... It in person you have to see this uh, edition in person because i'm telling you the paper is it's decent it's pretty good it's pretty good now i'm not going to talk about the cover or anything like that because this was uh uh it was a rebind a friend of mine uh gave me this uh, bible it is a rebind so i won't talk about the the ribbons or anything like that because whoever rebound it uh it, i mean yeah, so my emphasis right now is just on the text block itself i want you guys to see the references very very nice nice dark nice dark and bold let's go to the uh, let's go to the new testament so that you guys could see uh the red lettering here uh now the red letters uh in this edition it the red is very very nice and bright i mean you can see it you can definitely see it again uh it, it's nice but let me show you the new edition. Now, y'all remember the way we started off with this one. This is the way this one starts right here. It starts with this, the presentation page, Thomas. And now look at the red. Yes, this they, they are. And it is a red letter edition. Now, if I remember correctly, uh, they, they, they have... They have the true tone leathers and then they have a goatskin leather. The goatskin leather, I believe, uses 36 GSM paper. This one right here is using a 32 GSM paper. I, I may be wrong. I don't I, I I don't think I am, but from what I remember, yeah, yeah, I think that's the case. They did use a little thicker paper on the goatskin rather than on the true tone leathers. Uh, now this right here does have two double-sided satin uh, ribbons. 3 8 inch wide ribbons, ladies and gentlemen. The font on this edition is going to be a 9.5. Uh, this is by far my favorite Bible that I have in my possession. 
The reason for it is because of the references. The references and the articles in the back, man, the way this this Bible is used uh, for my for my preaching is amazing, okay? I I honestly I love it. Uh the the red in this is more of a dark maroon. Very very nice stands out. I forget to remind you guys this edition it is my zone which is fantastic unlike uh the older editions. Now let me show you uh here is Genesis. All right. So one of the things that you guys will see rather quickly is there are no there are no lines that divide uh, the updated one, uh, the verses or the, 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 the number, the number tools that you can go to the very back and find the, the references on the new editions. They have given them that color, that maroon color, which is very, very nice. You'll also see, uh, the topic with a little triangle, something that you don't see in, uh, in the old one. Now, what you do see in the old one is the, the is that the topic is, a little bit bolder. Uh, let's go to the New Testament so that you guys could see this. I mean, this is fantastic. This is very. Uh, look at the subtitles right here. This is this is just very very nice. Again, it's nine point five font uh, in their comfort print, which is great, great, great. Uh, no, guys, this before you guys ask, because I know that you're going to see the ghost team. No, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is not line match. All right, this is not. A line match that I think I don't know why uh, Zondervan did not do that. Uh, from what I hear, it's super simple nowadays to do to do line matching. I don't know why they did not line match, but uh, the paper being 32 GSM paper, comfort print, you, you really can't tell that much uh, on the line matching. You, you really can't. Now, uh, here is the red on the old edition, here is the red on the new edition. Uh, keep in mind, this is larger font than the old edition that we used to have, uh, and it's bolder. The, the again, the red is not as bright as this. This is a lot darker. It's a it's a dark color, which is very. Yeah. Again, guys, I I think this the way this feels, especially having the goatskin leather, uh, or the for those that have the goatskin one, it, you get like this luxurious vibe off of this I, I don't know i don't know if, if it just may be if it just may be me that feels that way that's the vibe that i'm getting from this edition so if imagine having the goat skin one my goodness that thing would be awesome now this does not have any art gilding just a gold gilding uh this one this is an older edition and did have the gold gilding uh the goat skin leather one though has the blue under silver if i'm not mistaken blue under silver or blue under gold which is fantastic ladies and gentlemen that is absolutely absolutely nice uh here is the introduction to the books uh, that you're going to find at the very beginning of every book the book of revelation you'll see the themes look at that Great that I believe that's something that uh, the older edition did not have. The older edition just went straight into the Bible, into the book and or the gospel. And that was it. Uh, not with the new one. With the new one, you do have a breakdown of the book. And then you stop or not stop. But then you dive into the actual reading of the book or gospel that you guys are reading. Guys, this is absolutely stunning. After that, you guys, we do have the Bible helps here. Well, the weights and measures, the Bible helps. Look at this. Comprehensive Bible helps, principles of Bible study, best methods of study, topics, alphabetical index of topics, and we dive into it. Look at this. So the numeric index, this is where you're going to find. Okay, so wherever, whatever number this tells you, it's talking about a topic, obstacles removed. You have to go to that number uh, and you're going to find it up here. Now, it is different, but I'm just trying to show you what I'm talking about. All right, so then you go and you look for the number. There you go, 1562. And it gives you all these references. And I love that because, look, in the back... Again, every reference is in that beautiful maroon color, and then it gives you the verse. That is nice. That's something that you're not going to see here. Uh, here is just black and bold, and that's it. 
I mean, you, you're still getting the job done, right? But again, I don't know, man. It's just this color makes it feel very luxurious rather than the old school way. And again, here there's lines of dividing. Here there is no lines, but they, what in the world? Here there is no lines, but there is enough space for the divisions. Uh, three columns, three columns right there. But you see, this is what happens when it's glued. Everything just goes into the gutter. Not on this one. Here you actually have the space. That's that's nice. Very nice. Then you're going to come to the maps, ladies and gentlemen. Here are the maps in the old edition. The maps on the new edition. Changes quite a bit, right? It has to do with the paper and all that good stuff. So this, my friends, is a great, great study tool. Very, very nice. It is. It's, it's not heavy, heavy, heavy. Uh, but it, I mean, I like it. It's a, it's nice and thick. 2K in Denmark. It's nice and thick. Look at that. Again, it is thicker paper that we have in the new updated edition. So this Bible is fantastic. Let me show you this just in case I didn't show it to you. Very, very nice. It does have perimeter stitching, which is great. It is a paste down edition uh, uh, as well. If you can afford the goatskin leather, guys, that'd be great. If you're not much of a reference person, then this would be just fine. This edition right here is beautiful, or even the hardcover if that's not uh, one of your main translations, uh, and you don't you, you don't care for having a true tone. You just rather have the hard hard hardcover. Then you can get the hardcover. I've done a, a I have done a. Uh, uh, a video on that so you can check that video out as well both of them have great paper very very nice i just i love the design here man that is that is very very nice oh this thing is absolutely nice ladies and gentlemen it's gorgeous it's beautiful and you can own one of these so go to zondervan click on it go buy this one the truth on the blue it's beautiful it's 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 awesome it feels great in the hand uh it's i don't know man it's just beautiful i love it i really do love it it's been one of my it's been my go-to bible uh my study time and everything like that i've even brought it here to the office a couple of times it's just it's just a beauty i was going to do this review uh about two weeks ago uh but you know i've been caught up on several other things and projects but i, I got to it today and at the same time, it gave me more time to just look into this one, uh, look into and compare it to the, the 1978. So go to Zondervan or go to ChristianBook.com and order yourself one of these things, man. This is awesome. I love the Word of God. I love this edition itself. I, what's not to love, all right? What, honestly, what's not to love? It's God bless you. Take care. Zondervan, great, great job. Love you guys. Bye-bye.